From blistering heat to extreme cold, the human body can endure a lot. Millions of years of evolution have developed and refined multiple life-saving processes which you probably don't even realize are happening. Superhumans such as Wim Hof break the mold on what we think the body can withstand. But what is the actual limit? Let's take a look at just how and low of a temperature the body can survive. What is the coldest temperature the human body can endure? To ensure our internal organs remain functional, the body regulates itself to stay at 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit or 37 degrees Celsius. When we become cold, the body has multiple methods to ensure we don't veer too far away from that temperature. One way it does this is by moving blood away from the skin and extremities such as your hands and feet. This limits the amount of heat that we lose. We also start to shiver, which generates heat. However, this can only help so much. You may be surprised to learn this, but you're 20 times more likely to freeze to death than to die from hot weather. Once your internal body temperature drops below 95 degrees Fahrenheit, symptoms of mild hypothermia start to take place. Hypothermia, not to be confused with hyperthermia, is where your body loses heat faster than it can produce it. At 91 degrees Fahrenheit, you might suffer amnesia or memory loss. At 82 degrees Fahrenheit, you may lose consciousness. And at 70 degrees Fahrenheit, you experience the full deadly force of hyperthermia. At this level, the water inside your body cells actually freeze, forming crystals which expand and rupture the cells, eventually leading to complete organ failure. Sounds like a pretty painful way to go. Knowing all of that, you may be surprised to learn that the coldest body temperature a person has ever survived is 56.7 degrees Fahrenheit, which is just 13.2 degrees Celsius. That person was Anna Bagenholm, who fell into a frozen stream while skiing in 1999. She didn't just fall in and get straight out though. She was trapped under a layer of ice for 80 minutes in the freezing water. Luckily, she found an air pocket, which meant she didn't drown. After she was rescued, a team of more than 100 doctors and nurses worked around the clock to save her life. Not only was she clinically dead for two hours, she was also in a coma for 10 days. And when she woke up, she was paralyzed from the neck down. Incredibly, after spending two months in intensive care, she made a near full recovery. Her vital organs became so cold from the water that they demanded less oxygen to function. This is why her organs survived when she went into cardiac arrest. Her survival story actually changed medical practices. Therapeutical hypothermia is now used in some open heart surgery as a technique to protect patients. The actual limit of the coldest we can experience completely depends on how long we are in it and how cold it is. But for now, Anna holds the record for the lowest body temperature survived. What is the hottest temperature the human body can endure? As we have already established, human bodies are incredibly resilient and we cope with high temperatures relatively well. This is thanks to the hypothalamus in our brains. It regulates our body temperature through a process called homeostasis. These include things which every person watching this video will have experienced, such as sweating or having the urge to go outside to get some fresh air. The maximum temperature we can endure completely depends on the humidity, your body composition, your exertion and your hydration. High heat combined with high humidity means we can no longer regulate our temperature. Sweating is the defense mechanism to cool the body, but if you're sweating in high temperature and high humidity, it will not cool you. Hence why we can survive in much higher temperatures if the humidity is low. This is why scientists use a phrase called wet bulb temperature to determine the maximum heat we can withstand. The wet bulb temperature is measured by a thermostat covered in a water-soaked cloth to provide a number which accounts for both heat and humidity. This is different to the standard air temperatures which you'll see on your local weather forecast. Experiencing a sustained wet bulb temperature of 35 degrees Celsius or 95 degrees Fahrenheit is likely to be fatal even for healthy people. If you are unclothed, in the shade and next to a fan, at this temperature, your body is likely gaining heat from the environment as your sweat won't cool you down. 
Once your core temperature raises above 40 degrees Celsius, you enter severe hypothermia and your internal organs will shut down. So again, after learning all of that, you may be surprised to know that the highest internal temperature survived was 46.5 degrees Celsius in 1980. His name was Willie Jones and he was admitted to hospital during a heatwave in Atlanta. Incredibly, he spent 24 days in hospital and survived. The doctors who treated him said they didn't know what saved the man and they nicknamed him the Human Torch. So that's that. The lowest body temperature ever survived is 13.2 degrees Celsius and the highest is 46.5. Both are incredible records which nobody is in a rush to beat. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button and check out one of these videos on screen now.